welcome back. We are going to take a look at how to find molar mass. And this is the next step in stoichiometry in order to convert between moles and grams. The first thing that we need to know is what is molar mass and how do we find molar mass? So the first thing I want to discuss is remember that the unit mole is very similar to the unit dozen. Whenever we hear the word mole, we should automatically think 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles. And when we hear the word dozen, we should think of the number 12. Not only does the mole equal 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles, but the mole also has another equality that we need to talk about, and it has to do with mass. So the first question I would ask you is if I'm looking at a dozen oranges and a dozen marshmallows. My question for you is, do those have the same mass or do they have the same weight? If you carried around 12 oranges, would those oranges have the same mass as 12 marshmallows? And you're probably thinking, of course not. Oranges are really heavy. If I was carrying 12 oranges, that would be quite a lot harder than carrying around 12 marshmallows. So dozen, even though it means 12, it has nothing to do with how heavy something is. However, a mole, in the same way that 12 oranges is not going to weigh the same as 12 marshmallows, one mole of something like aluminum is not going to weigh the same as one mole of something like carbon. And the reason has to do with molar mass. So molar mass, molar mass, is the mass of one mole of an atom or compound or a molecule. And what makes this conversion really easy to work with is we find molar mass on the periodic table. So it doesn't take a lot of work to find what an element's molar mass is. So I'll show you. This periodic table is free from ACS, the American Chemical Society. I would highly recommend. So again, one mole of any substance is equal to its molar mass. And we can find the molar mass by looking at the average atomic mass on the periodic table. So for example, if we were to look at lithium, one mole of lithium would weigh 6.94 grams. One mole of sodium would weigh 22.99 grams. One mole of potassium would weigh 39.1 grams. One mole of carbon would weigh 12.01 grams. One mole of nitrogen would weigh 14.01 grams. So molar mass is really easy to work with. All that you have to have is your periodic table. So again, using the periodic table, I can say one mole of carbon is equal to 12.01 grams. And that is carbon's molar mass. That is how much one mole of carbon weighs. One mole of sodium is 22.99 grams. And again, I found that just by looking at the atomic mass on the periodic table. So molar mass is equal to the mass of one mole of an atom or a compound or a molecule, and we can find the mass very easily just by looking at the periodic table. Things get a little bit more complicated, but not much when we do look at compounds or molecules. So for example, what if I asked you, what is the molar mass of the compound um, salt, sodium chloride? And you're like, oh no, I have no idea how to solve that. Again, all that you have to do is look at the periodic table. So we'll look at the periodic table. We'll find sodium. It's number 11. The mass is 22.99. So 22.99 plus the mass of chlorine, which is in group 17. And it's actually number 17. And the mass is 35.45.
So the molar mass is 58.44 grams per mole. There's 58.44 grams in one mole of NaCl. And we can do the same thing for a molecule. What about the molar mass of H2O? Well, again, we look at our periodic table. Hydrogen is number one, all the way on the left, and it has a mass of 1.00 grams per mole. So 1.00 plus 1.00, because notice I have two hydrogens there, plus we need the mass of oxygen, which is 16.00, plus 16.00. 18.00 grams per mole. So there's 18.00 grams in one mole of H2O. And technically, I could come back up here as well and put grams per mole, grams per mole, because the molar mass is the amount of mass or the amount of grams in one mole of a compound. So grams per mole would be our unit here. Let's try one harder one. What if we wanted to know the molar mass of sugar? C6H12O6. So we need to look at the periodic table and find the mass for carbon. Carbon is number six on the periodic table. Its mass is 12.01. And how many carbons do I have here? I have six. So I have six times 12.01 plus, we already know hydrogen has a mass of one, so 1.00 times 12 plus oxygen has a mass of 16 times six, which gives us a mass of 180.06 grams and that is per mole because we're looking at molar mass. So just to recap, molar mass is equal to the mass that we find on the periodic table. And just like one dozen oranges does not weigh the same as one dozen marshmallows, one mole of an atom will not weigh the same amount as one mole of another atom. So one mole of aluminum will not weigh the same amount as one mole of carbon. It's really easy to find the molar mass. All that we have to do is look at the atomic mass on the periodic table. If we want to find the molar mass of a compound or, an, or a molecule, we just add up all of the masses that are in that compound or molecule. If you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment and check out some of my other videos as we continue to work on converting between units and stoichiometry. Thanks for stopping by.